Hey, 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 what is going on, you sexy beast? Valley we're here, and I welcome you all to episode 45 of Fallout 4 Mod Review, Boopocalypse. A mod review that contains a silly and oftentimes creepy story to connect all the mods and episodes together. Now, in the previous episode, Revy, my character, was starting her date with Sento, her anime hugging pillows that you guys helped choose in one of the live streams. Smoke. And she has to leave the safety of her basement to go out on this date. Yeah, but uh, Rebby is kind of too poor for a car, so they're going to have to walk to the bus stop and take the bus. It is getting pretty dark here, it is pitch black and scary, but luckily we have the bus stop lighting by Ceaseless and PDE, which illuminates parts of the bus stop to make it easier for people to find. Bus stop lighting lights up the advertisement panels, which is making me kind of want to get a Nuka Cola, I'm getting kind of thirsty here. There is a please stand by monitor on the top of the bus stop. Yeah, looks like we're going to be standing by for a very, very long time. There are optional files that kind of gives the benches some illumination as well. There's a few colors to choose from, but I think I prefer to have like red and white color. I think those match the best, especially when you think of like Nuka Cola. Oh man, I want some Nuka Cola right now. I don't think the bus is coming anytime soon, so Rebby and Sento here is gonna have to walk through this very bad part of the neighborhood in the dark, dressed in a bikini. Rebby is gonna need a weapon. Standalone Pipe Shotgun by Matsuhuman and Stefan Engdahl is a shotgun that can blow a hole into a enemy with a splatter of lead. The Pipe Shotgun is a crude and rudimentary weapon. It's made out of just pipes, painter tape, and some screws and pieces of wood. However, it seems like the material it's made out of is rather clean and in good condition, especially when you compare it to other like pipe weapons found in the game. You know, they're all rusted and, and whatever. This looks pretty damn nice. The pipe shotgun is a single shot breach loading weapon and it does quite a bit of damage, but remember it is a single shot, make sure each shot counts. Rebby is going to be firing the pipe shotgun, so take note of the sounds and animations, especially the reloading. This shotgun is perfect because, well, if Sento asks Rebby why she has like a tube thing in her bikini bottom, she can say it's like the pipe shotgun to hide her boner or something. <laughs> That's so horrible, Vaddy, but That's horrible. And here we are at the third rail. Rebby and her date is just waiting for the show to start. And oh look, oh it's starting. And here is the beautiful Glamorous Magnolia by I'm Aaron, which alters and gives Magnolia a much needed refreshing and younger look. Her entire face has been sculpted based on what the mod author think Magnolia should look like. And she does look a, a little bit more sparkly and refined. Yeah, yeah, she's kind of cute with her freckles and her fuller eyebrows. Her hair is definitely a lot better than the plain straight hair that she usually has. It's kind of now kind of a little bit more fancy. It has like a little um, elaborate bun going on in the, in the back. I like that. I like that look. Oh, it looks like the show is over. Rebby should take her date to go get something to eat at the diner. Starlight Drive-In and Diner, Lighting by Ceaseless and PDE, is a mod that illuminates various diners in the Commonwealth and the Starlight Drive-In. Now, it lights up the diner sign on the side of the road so people driving by, well, actually walking by, would see it. And the main sign is also lit up and as well as the edges of the diner as well. You know, it, it kind of gives off like a neon light look to the diner. Now, I have reviewed this mod previously, however, there was an update that adds these cool looking lights on the counters and stools of the diner. It's been a very lovely romantic dinner, so maybe it's time for Rebby and her date to head back to her own place and have some good times. But before that, they're gonna need to stop by the Red Rocket to pick up some supplies and some protection, if you guys know what I mean. Red Rocket's glare, redone, lighting by Ceaseless and PDE is a mod that gives the iconic Red Rocket a new lease on life with some sexy lighting. Smoke. Now this is an improved version of the Red Glare's uh, Red Rocket's glare mod that I reviewed previously. Now there are some improved 
movements and additional things that are illuminated. Now, just like before, the panels on the edge of the roof has uh, lighting and as well as the red rocket sign. The red rocket itself is glowing and illuminated and it pretty much stands tall and that's like the most pretty much noticeable feature when you're looking at the red rocket. The gas sign is also lit up and man, 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 look at how cheap this fuel is. On the ceiling, there are these glowing upside down cars that look pretty damn cool too. I never know, noticed this before. I think these are new additions to this mod. Now, there are a few optional files that changes how the sign looks and they all look very good. And to be honest, I kind of wish that we could have each one of these installed at the same time. So each different uh, red rocket will have a different look. Some of the smaller stations located around the Commonwealth also has gotten some lights too, which is something I kind of noticed that was lacking in the previous edition of this mod, so this is a very welcome addition. Okie dokie, it looks like we got ourselves some vodka and some rubber. You know, rubber for protection, you know, rib for her pleasure. Rib for her pleasure. Eww. Ah, <laughs> now it looks like Rebby and her date is almost back to her basement and damn man, oh man, it looks like Rebby just can't take it anymore. She is just too damn horny. Oh man, she's she's gonna be doing it right here, right now with her date, her anime pillow. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be fucking awkward and crazy and creepy and... <laughs> oh man, that's that's down my lane right here. Rebby is gonna be busting out her portable sleeping bag by Xylo C, which allows you to carry around a functional bed to pass time whenever you want. This sleeping bag can be crafted at the chemistry station under utilities. Now sometimes you might find yourself like in the middle of nowhere and you want to pass time and there's no beds or whatever, but with this mod, the sleeping bag can be found in the miscellaneous section and to deploy it, you just select it and drop the sleeping bag onto the ground and now it's a working bed. So once you're done, uh, you just once you're done sleeping, the bag returns to your inventory. You know, it's beautiful, it's a simple mod, it's a very, very Oh man, this is such a good idea. Now before Ribby goes in deep with her pipe shotgun, if you guys know what I mean, oh my god, Vaddy, but that's horrible. You need <laughs> you need an outfit for this occasion. DA Harness by DA is a skanky and very open outfit to wear when wandering around the darkness and having sexy time with your pillow. The harness is made out of just straps and circular metal rings, and they all kind of form like a diamond shape in general. And the harness bottom has a zipper in case you have to pee. Of course, the top is kind of exposed, so you don't want to wear it at night, otherwise it might get too cold. The collar has a tag that has initials DA, which is the mod author's initials. Oh great, I belong to DA now. <laughs> now it comes with some boots, however, I, I I don't really know. It doesn't really match the outfit that much in, in my opinion. Maybe, maybe the heels need to be like taller or maybe it needs to be high heels, I don't know. The harness can be crafted at the Armorsmith workbench under the skimpy outfit section. And for the rest of the video and probably next video, I will be having my character wearing this wrap to cover up her titties since it is quite tedious to censor things. And let's just hope there's not going to be some uh, nipple slips just because it is not really a good fit, you know, the wrap. And now we have Rebby here doing the Humpty Dumpty and after a few minutes, Rebby is done. Oh man, that was quick. That was way too quick. Rebby feels satisfied and lights up a cigarette. Usable Cigarettes by Winderer is one of my favorite mods because it allows your character to smoke a cigarette. It works by using cigarettes that you find in the Commonwealth. You know, cigarette cartons and cigarette packs are broken down into cigarettes and then you find a lighter. I believe you can also craft the golden lighter. And these lighters are now usable items. Now your character can smoke like Trash Can Carla. Rebby prefers not to smoke though since, you know, smoking kind of makes you age faster but you know, this is a special occasion right here. After lighting up the cigarette, it does kind of pro provides you with a buff. It adds 10% aim stability and plus one charisma. However, there is a 10% chance of getting addicted, which makes you lose one charisma. Smoke. 
Anyways, Ruby here is going home now to her basement, and it's just around the corner. It's just a little bit kind of hard because it's uh, hard to tell just because it's so dark. Maybe in the next episode, Ruby will go out with her mannequins or maybe with Magnolia. Who knows? Who knows? Now, if you like this video, make sure to bang that like button. Bang it good. I, I also have a Twitter if you want to see previews of my videos while I'm working on them. I also have a Patreon if you want to help out Vadiwa and for him to keep making more videos. Yeah, I kind of wonder. Huh, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. I, I don't think Santa is satisfied at, at all, to be honest. It's because Rebby finished so quickly. Anyways, I love all you sexy bees. Well then, stay sexy, my friends. Stay sexy, my fellow vault dwellers.